chemistry wise what exactly should you expect for a je advanced paper chemistry roughly requires around 40 to 45 minutes minimum in a je advanced style paper now uh, what i'm talking about is 40 to 45 minutes is per paper paper 1 you'll require 40 to 45 minutes and paper 2 you'll be requiring approximately 40 to 45 minutes as well now chemistry we can break it down into three pieces we can break it into organic chemistry physical chemistry and inorganic chemistry so what i'm going to be talking about is all three parts individually section wise so physical chemistry physical chemistry we can uh, look at as the major strength for most people here mainly because physical chemistry is within a particular boundary they don't ask you anything beyond what you are generally expected to know so when we talk about physical chemistry questions here how would you how should you approach physical chemistry questions see physical chemistry may each student will have different topics where you are stronger in different topics where you are weaker in right now is not the time it is not the time now to what to say focus on topics you are not particularly good at because if you end up spending time studying topics which you are not good at right now you will feel like you should attempt them over there which is actually the wrong decision physical chemistry wise you should make sure you are going to be going with topics you are properly comfortable and thorough with make sure you are making those topics which you are good at to a stronger level now another thing which you should take note of in terms of physical chemistry is calculation errors see errors are going to be happening anyway all right you should make sure that any error from your side is minimized as much as possible so please make sure you are giving reasonable amount of time when it comes to physical chemistry question solve it patiently don't panic in that particular location and make a mess in terms of calculation don't rush into the question needlessly physical chemistry i would say just focus on your strengths and make sure you are not touching your weaknesses see the problem here is this there are going to be some topics where you feel you are strong at but in those topics you are going to be requiring a large amount of time to crack a particular question see you have got to find your balance between time and marks here je is predominantly an elimination style examination it is not going to be a selection style examination so there will be questions where you are expected to spend 10 minutes time to get that question correct what you are supposed to do in those questions is if you know how to solve that question if you feel that is the only way you can get better marks then go and spend the 10 minutes there if there are other questions where you can spend some time and get more marks in the same amount of time that is if you have spent 10 minutes in that question and you are getting say 3 or 4 marks out of that that is not particularly worth it if you could have gotten another two questions in that same amount of time frame so please go and find a proper time and marks balance with respect to things some topics you are going to be not particularly comfortable with but if you spend like a little bit of time now and make it more thorough those topics you might end up being able to score more quickly that type of thing you got to find a proper balance there coming to organic chemistry what do you have to focus on from organic chemistry point of view see organic chemistry point of view say if we look at it the major problem which students face is getting more than one answer correct questions wrong ka what to say correct over there students generally end up having a problem with respect to organic chemistry may if i'm having a question say we can have generally two or three pathways for the question to be solved so if i'm going to be having this ambiguous feeling coming into a question how do we approach that type of thing please read the question and the options look at the options in je the main thing which you need to understand here is every professor is given sufficient time to answer a question what is it to prepare a question so the options they are going to be giving you will shed some light on what mentality the question is being based on see for instance if i'm going to be having an organic chemistry question based on aldol all right it looks like an aldol reaction but there is going to be some canizaro reaction also happening look at the options if you see the options you will have a clearer idea as to whether it is just a plain aldol type or it's going to be involving both aldol and canizaro happening simultaneously so another thing i would recommend you guys to focus on from organic chemistry point of view is focus on je favorite reactions je has a bunch of reactions which they repeat regularly in examinations they don't generally ask unnecessary reagents which are new you would have come across some new reagents je does not care about new reagents je only asks the same old stuff which they are very much interested in asking the major je reactions which i would recommend you guys focus on are uh, the from the initial parts of organic chemistry we will have markovnikov addition anti markovnikov addition you will have elimination reactions you will have sn reaction substitution reactions you also have electrophilic aromatic substitution now towards the later half of organic chemistry you will need to focus on haloform aldol canizaro 
Perkin, Beckman, these are major reactions which they love. Hoffman bromide is another reaction which they like. So please focus on these reactions. Make sure you study these reaction mechanisms as thoroughly as possible. Don't waste your time on other organic chemistry reactions with newer reagents. Newer reagents are not what is the game over here. They are going to be asking you the same stuff. They are just going to be phrasing the questions differently. They are going to be twisting the questions around nicely. Now, inorganic, this is a major section which students generally neglect. This is a very critical section mainly because JE does not like to ask pure fact-based questions actually. Any fact-based question they are going to be asking either comes from two sections. One is the CBSE book. Another one which it shows up from is going to be from qualitative analysis. Qualitative analysis is your salt analysis, the practical part. The practical part, they do ask theory questions, direct fact-based questions there. They do ask questions related to whether it's a precipitate, what is the color of this precipitate, those things you've got to focus on. Now, inorganic wise, yes, it is a massive ocean. You can't really be expected to know the entire thing. What do you have to focus on? See, what sh you should be focusing on predominantly is, see, IIT JE, even though they do ask some fact-based questions, those fact-based questions mainly show up from the CBSE book predominantly. So if you end up focusing on the CBSE books information, informative, uh, uh, what to say, pieces, that should be more or less sufficient. See, in a more uh, statistical point of view, approximately say 75 to 80 percentage you can expect to be from the CBSE book. Around 15 to 20 percentage will be from qualitative, outside say aayega. And maybe one or two questions will have pieces of information which are not there in the CBSE book inorganic wise. Now, this depends on luck. If you're going to be having a paper uh, like say last year or last last year, pretty much the entire inorganic came from the CBSE textbook. But two, three years back, they had a question, one paragraph question showed up from outside. So if you have got the preparation already done for inorganic from all sources, excellent. But if you have not, if you're not feeling thorough about inorganic, at least make sure what you will study for the JE mains is redone once in organic case up at least. Most importantly in terms of uh, JE advanced examination though, make sure you are having a proper clear picture as to how many marks you want to score. In general, if you want to look at it, you've got to have an idea as to what your targeted score is going to be. Because if you don't have a clear target in mind, you're not going to be as efficient as you should be. Say for instance, if your chemistry is strong, you should be aiming for at least 60 percentage marks in chemistry. If your chemistry is weak, it is still doable up to 30 to 35 percentage. It is not that complicated to score 30 percentage to 40 percentage marks. But you've got to make sure you're going with a plan. If you end up, what to say, randomly going without a plan, if you're going to be randomly uh, answering questions over there, you are not going to be able to solve, uh, or other, you would, I would say you're going to be attempting questions which you should not have touched. There are going to be pitfall questions in the paper as well. If you end up going into those questions, what do you mean by pitfall question? A question which can be solved only from one approach. Any other approach you choose, you're going to waste time. You need to make sure you are avoiding these kind of questions. So mentally prepare yourself in the beginning itself as to which topics you're going to be focusing on, which type of questions are you going to be attempting, which type of questions are you going to be leaving. That last aspect, might seem a little weird, but that is the thing which is actually more important over here. Because if you are mentally prepared with, I am going to be leaving these, these, these questions, at least you won't be wasting time on them during the examination. 